Fridays are not for the boys. Uh, Fridays are for doing married stuff. It's your boy, Billy, a.k.a. The Brand. The Brand Show. Your generalissimo, the Larry Bird of action figure collecting, but something you don't know that I am. I'm a family man. Just tell them who you are. I'm Rebecca. And Rebecca, who are you? <laughs> I'm Billy's wife. So this is my wife, Rebecca, who will be joining us today for the Unboxed Cast, Episode 3. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're heading down to Rhode Island Comic Con to meet up with FOMO Joe, Stevie Oaks, some friends. But uh, first things first, here on the Unboxed Cast, we have some rules, okay? You have to tell us, what's your agenda for the day? Are you looking for anything? Are you looking to meet anybody, etc.? Just wanting to have fun. Okay, so you're just going to have fun. Are you looking for anything? Um, I forget what this is called. I apologize. Fourth Wing. Fourth Wing, the book, that you, the book series that you were reading all summer. So anything Fourth Wing you're looking for? Okay. Whatever catches my eye. Okay, so for me, as usual, it's going to be Vintage Toxic Crusaders, it's going to be wrestling figures, and we're going to meet the cast of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so seeing our friends Renee Jacobs and Townsend Coleman. But for now, we're going to head down to Rhode Island, and uh, we'll see you there. You want to you wanna get them there, or should I? No, I'll do it. Do it. We're here. We're here. Sort of. Kind of. And I bought a new hat. Uh, so we are at Providence Place Mall, just heading over to the convention center. So on the ride here, any change in your agenda? No. All right. Well, I guess we'll see you inside in just a couple minutes. And uh, first stop, I don't know if we're going to be able to film, uh, our good friends, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We'll see you there. What do we have here? It's Joe St. Pierre. It's official. I have too much stuff. Joe has too much stuff. And... Uh, I hope you guys stop by his booth and buy all of it. Look at some of his original art, beautiful. Especially, let's focus on the new Zodiacs, Aquarius. If you guys haven't read this yet, definitely worth your time. We got CG seed copies signed by Joe, as well as sketch covers, limited sketch covers, and a Check project. Check this out, world famous actor. With Brett Azar. Brett Azar, Azar who's on Young Rock on NBC. Cheeky baby. He, he, he did a variant cover art for this Edition. Now that is cool. I love this Spider-Man too. That is absolutely gorgeous on the black. That is cool. Always Venom. But for those of you who don't know who Joe is, if you've ever read Venom, Tooth and Claw, Planet of the Symbiotes, any of that, you will see Joe's art. Joe's been all over the place and don't forget to check him out. I'm just going to drop links right here, maybe here, over here. You guys can go watch the episodes we had with Joe on the brand show right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure to check him out. Listen, you donuts. You want Nicolas Cage on your hand. You want to smell what The Rock is cooking. You need to look up nerdy novelty design. Rebecca's already spending my money, as I can see. You're doing a good job. And well, that's fine, dude. Either way, it's, it's fantastic. I just, there's Mario Kart, Yoda, and Peanuts, the Mandalorian, all this cool stuff. What are you doing not buying it? Especially this Ian Malcolm bag. This is the model Rick Martel. At Rhode Island Comic Con, these people smell really bad. They could use a dash of arrogance. I agree with that. Well, hey, we back with Ernie Reyes Jr. And what are we watching, Ernie? The Brand Show. You know what it is. I love these prints. What's that, babe? I love these prints. Those are pretty neat. And then, can you smell what The Rock is cooking and Nicolas Cage? <laughs> You're so funny. Oven mitts. <laughs> Shut up, baby. I know it. All right. So we just got done with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Boys. Uh, it was so crowded in there, we couldn't actually film. But I have some really exciting news that I will announce to you guys later on. Uh, I'm not going to announce it on this vlog because it's that important. What'd you think, though? Who's your favorite? Rob Paulson. Rob Paulson was amazing. The guys and Renee are just fantastic in general. If you're at Rhode Island Comic Con, if you're watching this after the fact and you had an experience with these guys, leave it in the comments. I want to hear about it. All right, let's go see more of the show though. So let me give you guys a good laugh. Rebecca lost me for like eight seconds and I was literally at her freaking. It wasn't eight <laughs> I was literally to her left, but we're going to do some toy hunting now. This should be fun. Looks like there is a lot of stuff here. Uh, we're going to go find FOMO Joe and we'll go from there. We're back with the best April and what are we watching? What are we watching? Yeah. We're watching the brand show. All right, where we always keep it turtle power, so keep it here. Right on. Marvel Legends galore for those people who miss things like that X Force Cyclops, Vintage Punisher, Lady Loki, 
the classic Black Widow, the new X-Men 97 figures. Also, I love these old school style, reaction style uh, Sentinels, those are fun. A lot of stuff we already have, but it's still good to see an actual good selection of Marvel Legends. Hey, listen, you can get Chasm here. I know you can get him everywhere else, but he's here. Can't say it on YouTube. This might be the greatest t-shirt of all time. Take this soap, shove it in your face. All right, I'm gonna pick it up and shove it in my face. Let's pick up the Wolfman, because I love Universal Monsters. Very cool. So there are three sets. So shove it in your face. First turtle sighting. A little bit of NECA action going on over here. Halloween 2, the nun. Gremlins 2, the predator. Look at all this cool stuff. Oh man, there's more. I don't know who this handsome guy is, but I know who that handsome guy is. Hey, how are you? Is. Who are you? I'm Peter Griffin, certified CPR. You are Rhode Island's own Peter Griffin, lower third somewhere, please. Thank you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, where are we, pal? Yeah, we're at Rhode Island Comic Con, day number one. Yeah. Do you have an agenda this week? Gonna be signing, signing autographs, and making a whole boatload of money. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna be uh, hosting Seth Green's panel Saturday at 1:15. As Peter Griffin, certified CPR. Yeah. Oh, oh, we found him. Hey, it's FOMO Joe. What did I miss? Cause you know I don't like missing. Things. You're you're late as fuck. That's what you missed. I set the record for oh, being wait. late today. So you're you're late as fuck. You got FOMO. You ready to go toy hunt? Yeah, let's go. All right. Let's go. Donut. So, Joe, why are you always late? Because it's fashionable. It's, it's not super, fashionable to be three hours late, man. Superstars are never it's, on it's, time, sir. Look it up. Superstar? The, the, why was I here on time? Why was I here early? No, you didn't get the memo. You are a donut, sir. Yeah. Hey, so show us what you bought. Since you made a purchase before I did. What do you... Oh, I made a bunch of stuff. You got some books. Fantasy. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. What else you got? I mean, we know about we know about the other stuff and the soaps we we saw. And, that's and we okay. All so right. you made a few purchases. Yeah. All right. Well, Joe's buying swords because it's Joe. Uh, I'm not buying swords. You sure? Yeah, All right, Joe. Fine. All right. Onward we go. Look at this. We got WWE elites. All sorts of different. Guys. Bobby Heenan makes a return once again. Everywhere we go, we see that Bobby Heenan figure. Know, it's amazing. Look at all this AEW, Marvel Legends, all different sorts of good stuff. If you don't have it, you need it, come get it. Ah, already that new Marvel Legends Kingpin. I'm, you know, this is really weird to say, but I am not seeing anything that I personally need. Same. Because I own it all already. Do you want yeah. something you need? Wait, oh. Okay. Sunday, he did. I did. How, wait, how much is it? Too much, too much. We're gonna pass. Man. What do we got over here, man? The two Animaniacs. They're good. No, these are cool. I just don't like the size. Why do I have to be that? Animaniacs, watch your head coming through. We got some Halo, we got some Best Action, Ninja Turtles. Awesome stuff. All around here at Rhode Island Comic Con, you just can't say no to some of the cool stuff here. Holy smokes, dude. So, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, uh, lower third for the IG right here. This is Zombie Hideout. This is going to be one of our upcoming toy hunts. They're out in Springfield. They had a really great Danhausen signing last year. And they're selling me a Spider-Punk. And I'm so happy about it. So, perfect case of Joe's FOMO here. We're hanging out with Zombie Hideout still. And uh, this Marvel Legends Green Goblin, I'm going to zoom in on really quick here. Joe's already asking about it, but um, what's the problem here, Joe? Why can't you buy it? Because I already had it and I sold it. And this is a very wah, wah, wah moment. What do you got on it? 40. Ah, Joe! Uh, Damn it. I don't know what this is, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Look at this. We got some serious madness going on on this wall here. Classic Green Lantern, Liefeld variants, old Deadpool, Captain Marvel variants. Still waiting for that phone call, Todd. This is possible. Wait, Low you found light. low light? Yeah. Finally. This is very possible. Wait, what's the, price? what's the not price? Not bad. Oh no, dude, that's really good. That's like literally retail. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty close. Is it a no, case of the FOMO? Not yet. I'm, I'm trying to be I, good. I, dude, if I were you, I would do that. I would also buy Bazooka if you don't have Bazooka. I have Bazooka. Bazooka's awesome. Yeah, Tom Selleck's great. Do it. Breaking news. We found something that Joe has that I don't. Wow, first time ever. Joe, do you want a trophy? Yeah. All right. I'll work on that. All right, thank you. But back here again, look at all this cool mecha and lightsabers. Token, Razor, 
Oh my god, that's that's absolutely that's dirt? That's yeah, cheap? Yeah, yeah, it really is to be honest. Do you have it? Yes. Yes. Ahmed, do you have toe gun razor? <laughs> I think you need it, dude. I think you need it. Make the purchase. You can do it. <laughs> to me, my X-Men. Yeah, but dumbass, they're behind you. Ah, well, there's Christopher Robin. I got you. Where's Pooh? Um, he's home. Wow. No <laughs> poo, no honey. <laughs> Buying any toys this weekend? Not yet. Go oh, buy something. It's gotta be something worthwhile. You better. Buy one of these. <laughs> buy Morph, to be exact. I thought we lost Ahmed, but he's right here. I do want free shrugs. Thank you. Hey, really, how are you? Hey, buddy, what's up? Hey, you know, since you're such a big fan of the, of the Steve Yokes brand, the Rhode Island's Open and Griffin brand, here's $1 million. That's Whoa! Really cashable and cohort. Hey, is Joe Swanson's house available? No, but FOMO Joe's is. Joe, this vlog has been going on for who knows how long at this point. I'm literally lucid and you haven't bought a damn thing. Hi, here's a booth. There's toys. I see lots of toys. I see Super 7 Power Rangers. I see the greatest Ninja Turtle figure of all time, Super Surfer Michelangelo. Really cool. That figure's one of my favorites. Yeah. Love that figure. Depends. Dude, I would buy that. That's cool. What else we got? We got Ahmed. He's here. You can buy that, man. Bitty Pops. All the good stuff. Oh, you're not here. You're, you're he doesn't sorry. work here. He's got a fan badge on, you donut. You didn't get that. You work with this guy? Like, why do you, why? Why? Other paying customers There's people the right there who run the booth, Joe, for- I literally asked the customer. You are such a, dude, donut, donut award of the weekend right there. Yeah. Congratulations. That has to be a thing, right? That has to be a thing, yes. Hey, and hey, Joe failed up. once again. Tough sell. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. We got Migo over here. Yeah, look at the magnetic Look at these classic Migos, though. This is cool. That's really cool. But this is, dude, this is classic Migo. Fuck Marty Abrams. Um, yes. Look at that Iron Man. Look how good they're in shape. Yeah. Like Superman totally works. Like That's that. absolutely awesome. It's some of my That's favorite stuff. Breaking news: Joe has finally made a purchase. Dude, it was only good. one more booth over, but it's a diorama. And, and hey, like that's purchase. really cool. Purchase, Can Joe. What do we got here, dude? The makeshift sewer diorama. That's fantastic, dude. And you. I also like it. the gears too. Those are kind of interesting. Yeah. I like that it's magnetic. I like the base. Yep. Base can work for a lot of different oh. stuff. Good for figure yep. photography. Good for whatever. Um, good for display. Display too. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word. Thanks for saying it for me. But all right, pay the man. What I do. Well, found some more toys. Okay, this Electra is just awesome. I think I'm gonna have to buy it. And uh, we're gonna take a look around. We got Marvel Legends. Everybody's favorite toy in the entire world. Power of the Force at every Comic-Con and every everything you go to, you will find Power of the Force. And that is awesome. Oh my God. Finally, a good toy booth. Joe, a good toy booth. Yeah, it's always oh a good Oh my toy God, booth. I'm so excited. Heat seeking missiles here at Rhode Island Comic-Con, another. Oh, baby, this is a good find. Let's grab this. What do you think, Joe? Yeah. Another what do you one think you I'm me on. Solid. Another Just scoop. Another oh. scoop. Billy, two. Right under the Fomo nose. Fomo Joe Zero. Right under the nose. Ah. Yeah. All right, more vintage. Hiding over in the corner, we got Kerplunk. We got a talking Freddy from back. In the Good God, dude. Yeah, this is a great, great. Take great all movie. of my money. I don't have much, but, you know. Oh, look at these LJNs, too. Ooh, Lucy Bins. I really can't do this one-handed, so. No, baby. Oh, that's him. Billy boy's going apple picking. Let's go. Oh, yeah, my knees are cracking, pal. Don't you worry. Look at this. We got Galoob Sting. Got that was classic. Titania? Titania? I do not. How much? I think it was like 10. Five bucks. No, is it five bucks? That's five bucks. There you go. <laughs> Titania. That's a grab. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're going to go through and we'll show you what we find. Yeah, All right, good. anyway, so... We came, we saw, we conquered Rhode Island Comic Con, and we also found Ahmed. Hello. He's gonna be the new running goof. Where is Ahmed? <laughs> Where like in the world is Ahmed? <laughs> Ahmed's cooler, much cooler, way cooler. But uh, that's it from Rhode Island Comic Con. Really good time, first time back in almost six years. But um, we bought some toys, we got some stuff I'm signed, here, here. and uh, you know, 
it'll be that. So we're gonna head on back to Canton, show you what we got back there. See you there. Well, we forgot to give Rebecca her outro too before we go back to Canton. So did you have fun? Yeah. Did you buy anything cool? Yeah, I, I bought a couple of things, but honestly, I was more excited to meet the turtle guys. We're going to talk about that later. So I guess now we can send ourselves back to Canton. Go ahead, send us back. <sighs> All right, we're back in Canton, and uh, yeah, that was an experience, let me tell you. Uh, cons are so much fun, but man, they are exhausting. So uh, let me show you the haul from this show. We got some really cool stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about what we brought home. Let's get to it. All right, up first, this one was a $5 find. This is Titania, uh, one of the earlier Marvel Legends figures. Really excited about this, great pickup, and she was only five bucks. How cool is that? Another great find, uh, very early in the Marvel Legends Infinite series. This is Iron Fist in the white and gold costume. This is a uh, pretty cool figure. This is from the All-Father Build-A-Figure Wave. Another one, really excited to have. After months and months of searching, we finally found a Hobie Brown at retail. Thanks to our friends at Zombie Hideout, who we're going to be visiting in December of this year. So that's going to be really exciting too. Cannot wait to visit that shop. It is totally a destination in Western Massachusetts for collectors, and I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be fun. Continuing to add to the Rotocast collection, I did find Wingnut uh, at a Target stop for liquid death water. <laughs> I also needed a snack at that time, and I bought a bag of Funyuns. Yeah. Something else I'm really excited about, uh, we got to visit with our good friend Steve Levine, who gave us this beautiful metal print. Well, I paid him for it, but he remarked it for free. And uh, this is a recreation of TMNT1. For those of you who don't know who Steve is, Steve is one of the OGs of Mirage Studios. He came on to do lettering and has just gone from there and has been a constant collaborator of Eastman and Laird for many years. And he's also going to be doing the brand show in the near future. Very excited about that too. You probably saw these off to the side in the video earlier. These were a gift from Rebecca. She saw this little booth during Rhode Island and these nice folks were making coasters so we got ninja turtle coasters here for the basement there's donatello and Raphael. look at these these are really cool right i'm, I'm really excited about these let's just get a quick close up on donatello again but uh, i was really really excited about these especially after meeting the boys yesterday it was just so exciting to add these uh turtle mania has definitely taken hold in the nichols house and will never let go these are kind of a ceramic and they're made uh by a young man and his son and the son was so excited and he slipped smarties in the bag for my wife which i thought was very cute all right this one is absolutely surreal for me uh for those of you who know i am a lifelong teenage mutant ninja turtles fan probably 35 plus years so for me it was absolutely surreal yesterday to make the acquaintance and say hello to renee jacobs cam clark townsend coleman Barry Gordon and Rob Paulson in person and to thank them for their impact on my life. Um, as you know, we've interviewed Townsend and Renee. Um, I have some announcements in the future. I can't say anything yet, but I want to give a big, a special shout out to Rob Paulson. Uh, Rob and I had a moment yesterday that was really touching uh, as we are both cancer survivors. And, you know, that's one of those bonds you have with people and it's unmistakable. Uh, you have the opportunity to really talk to someone who understands your plight and what you've been through. And uh, Rob, if you watch this, thank you very much. I'm going to send it to him, so hopefully he does. But look at these. These are the Rotocast Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures, uh, the new ones that have been out in Walmart and Target. And Renee, fantastic in that yellow. Cam, wonderful in blue. I love it. Townsend, my favorite turtle of all time. <laughs> That is, you know what, they're actually all my favorite. Looks great in the orange. <clears throat> I am Barry Gordon, a very wonderful young man, and uh, looks beautiful in that purple. And last but not least, as we already showed you, Rob Paulson. This, for me, if I had to sell my entire collection, I don't care that these are new. I would keep these before I kept anything else. These mean everything to me. All right, well, that's a wrap on Rhode Island Comic Con. A really fun time. I haven't been in a long time, but uh, this year was especially special, you know, getting to meet the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cast and uh, having Rebecca with me. Uh, cons are always fun, but let me tell you, I have done three shows in six weeks, and man, I need a break. Can't do them like I used to, I guess.
Anyway, don't forget to like our vlog sponsor and check them out, Yolo Park, where you can save 5% with code ABON at yolopark.com. And don't forget, don't be a donut, be a dude. Like this video, comment with your favorite part, and if you went to Rhode Island Comic Con, tell us your favorite part of Rhode Island Comic Con. My name is Billy from The Brand Show and a bunch of nerds. I'm your generalissimo, the Larry Bird of action figure collecting. And don't forget to subscribe to a bunch of nerds across social media and right here on YouTube. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.